Hey Golf Pass, I'm John Montgomery, and today I want to teach you how and when to shift the pressure in your swing to strike your irons a little bit better. Here to demonstrate, I have a pressure, pressure plate, but don't worry, at the end of the drill, I'm going to show you how to do it even without this, okay? So this is for demonstration purposes. I like to sit up on the pressure plate. You can be in the center, right, or on your left side. For drill purpose, we're going to start on the left side here. What we want to see is that as we start that swing, we're going to push off of the left side to get some momentum going to get that swing back to here. At left arm parallel, I like to say this is the end of the backswing because the top and coming back down is the transition. So what's going to happen from here is that we start to recenter our pressure. How that happens is that our full turn from our upper body starts to recenter, and you can see I'm now balanced back on my feet as I get to the top of my swing it's a lot easier to get that pressure to the left side nice and early so you can push off the ground and rotate through impact a lot cleaner. So when we move that board away, all you need to do in order to feel the same sensation is the Berkshire drill, I call it. Kyle Berkshire, really famous long drive guy. And what he does before he hits the ball is he moves his feet up and down just like this. He's shifting the pressure back and forth between his feet. And this is something you can feel too at home in order to get that feel down. So when we go here, we go one, two, one, two, nice and slow. Here, here. So I'm still keeping that same tempo back and forth with that pressure shift and it can help you have good timing for your swing. It can also help you get your pressure in the right spot so you can make solid contact on the ball. Let's see how that works here. So we'll get set up. I'm gonna pick my feet up. One, two, one, two and through. If you like this tip and all the Golf Pass membership has to offer, make sure you leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you.